In exactly four days, NDC delegates across the country will be deciding who represents them as parliamentary candidates going in the 2020 elections. As your election command centre, we continue with our build-up to the contest. Today, we focus on the Asawasi constituency, where incumbent MP Muntaka Mubarak has been accused of scheming to disqualify the only man who came up to challenge him. Kwacha Afrenoma has more on this report. A stronghold within a stronghold, that is one way to describe the Asawase constituency. Located in the electoral fortress of the governing MPP Ashanti region, the National Democratic Congress has held on to this seat since it was created in 2004. The first MP for this area was Dr. Adamu Mohamed, who died in office leading to a by-election that brought in incumbent MP Muhammad Muntaka Mubarak. The Center for Democratic Development, CDD Ghana, described that election as fair and transparent, but not free from fear. Since that election, Muntaka Mubarak has won every single parliamentary primary here and gone ahead to win the seats in the parliamentary polls. Ordinarily, a seat that is considered safe for the NDC would not come under much scrutiny or much focus when it comes to the party's parliamentary primaries. But this time around, the Asawase constituency has been in the news. The reason is simple. One man, Masawood Mubarak, who put himself up to challenge Muntaka Mubarak, has been disqualified by the regional leadership of the NDC. That decision triggered protests from Masawood's supporters who described the move as an attempt to sabotage his political ambitions. In fact, many of them have threatened to vote skirt and blouse in the 2020 general election. But the incumbent MP says the party is only enforcing its own rules. If people follow the guidelines, they just are the usual nature of the Ghanaian. Oh let's, oh, let's just forget about the rule. Let's forget about rule. You can't just have that. The constituency is insisting on making sure that they adhere to the rules of uh, the, 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 the party. The minority chief whip dismisses assertions from some of his critics that he sees Masawood as a threat. How can I feel threatened by Masawood? Someone who didn't even vote in the constituency in 2016. Ask him whether he voted in 2016 in the constituency. In fact, he's part of the reason why the NDC vote dropped in, 20, in 2016. Because he didn't, he didn't vote in 2016. And I keep asking, who and who are organizing the media to follow him? Who is organizing the tax to follow him? People should be asking these questions. Those persons say they are your party people. In fact, they've threatened to vote skirt and blouse in the 2020 general election. And that would certainly, if it happens, affect the fortunes of the NDC. The constituencies, as we speak now, are going around those zones and explaining with the party constitution and why showing the letters and showing evidence of all the things that are happening. We will reach out to people. Believe me, we've heard this about skirt and blouse in 2005. I'm not the least because I know my constituency. It goes without saying that no politician stays in power forever. Question is, is the Asawasi MP not worried about losing the primaries in view of all that is happening in the constituency? If the people decide that they don't want you, obviously you can carry on with your life. Because after all, before some of us came, we were gainfully employed. And I have no doubt on my mind that with all this experience that one has gathered, you should be, you need to be afraid. Masaud Mubarak has meanwhile vowed to go all lengths to ensure he is not treated unfairly. I would fight with my last blood to defend any apparent unjust or unfair move. Um, if I countenance any of these actions, what I will be doing is disappointing the numerous young people, not only in Asawasi, but all across the constituencies in this country. He insists that he meets every single criteria set out by the party for parliamentary aspirants. I'm more than qualified to, to contest 
the membership, the, the, the position of a parliamentary candidate for the party. Um, so it baffles my mind, it still baffles my mind why someone would try to prevent uh, myself or my agents from, from picking the forms. Ashanti Regional Secretary of the NDC, Kwame Zhu, explains that a final verdict on Masaud's fate will be decided by the national leadership of the party. The narratives are completely different from the ones that has been speculated by a section of the media. Be that as it may, I think the issue is before the Functional Executive Committee and has subsequently been forwarded to a Doha Jaho Committee for Conflict Resolutions and we await the outcome of that committee. For now, it appears almost certain that only one name will be on the ballot paper come August 24, Mohammed Muntaka Mubarak. But certainly, the party needs to forge a united front for the bigger battle in 2020. Kwache Afreniyama, TV3 News.